What first struck me about Eva was just how brave and determined she was, especially given the absolute hell that she had been through in sex trafficking as just a teenager. By her 19th birthday, and in just a few months of coming to the Dragonfly home, Eva had regained her footing. She had begun to see in herself her own incredible courage, and she was full of dreams for her new life. Eva's story is a good example of what sex trafficking can commonly look like here in Oklahoma. Her family didn't have a whole lot. Her mom worked around the clock just to make ends meet. When Christopher, a charming older guy, started hanging out with Eva and her group of high school friends, he purposely singled her out, pouring all of his attention on her, and this made Eva feel beautiful and important. Christopher made Eva believe he really cared about her and her family. He helped her family with groceries a few times, bought her little brother a new pair of tennis shoes, and even bought her a designer purse. But Eva couldn't have possibly realized his true motive, that he was making a small investment in her life so that he could make a much bigger profit off of her later on. One afternoon, Eva went to go hang out with Christopher, just like she had so many times before. But this time, he drove her to a hotel room, forced her inside, and then immediately raped her. He threatened her with his gun and demanded that she do exactly what he told her to do or else he'd kill her entire family. That's when he started bringing men in, one after the next. Christopher had arranged for these men to have sex with Eva for his own financial gain. Eva was devastated. She was crushed, confused. She felt trapped, and she was unable to tell anybody about what was happening to her for fear of what would happen to her family. For the rest of the summer, Christopher posted ads of her and sold her to strangers for sex. Thankfully, law enforcement saw the ads and they did an undercover investigation. They actually recovered Eva, arrested Christopher, and Eva was referred to the Dragonfly home. This is where Eva's experience in sex trafficking had come to an end, but it was just the beginning of a very long journey to restoration and healing. Eva came to the Dragonfly Home Human Trafficking Relief and Restoration Center, where we've served hundreds of victim survivors of sex and labor trafficking. Through our case management services, Eva had the opportunity to process everything that had happened to her in a safe place and begin sorting out everything she needed to be able to move forward. We worked with her to create a plan so that she could accomplish the goals that she set for herself. Eva's number one concern was safety because of Christopher's threats towards her and her family. We worked with her to create a safety plan specific to her situation so that she could feel safer and that she would feel more prepared if she found herself in a dangerous situation. Eva also decided she wanted to do therapy. It's a brave step to work through trauma like that, but she did it. She put in the hard work and with each session, she felt more and more hopeful that she could get through this. Eva also made the courageous decision to testify against Christopher in court. This is so hard, but with our court advocacy program, Eva felt more prepared and more empowered to help. With the help of her testimony, 
Christopher was sentenced and put behind bars. After that, it was like everything just clicked for Eva. Christopher no longer had the power to take anything else from her, and she wasn't gonna let her experience in sex trafficking define her. This is the moment that Eva really began to dream again for herself, and she eagerly started working towards her goals, like learning how to drive, getting her first job, and saving for college. Eva continues to get support from the Dragonfly home. She loves the survivor support groups where she's made friends who've been through similar experiences. Recently, Eva even enrolled in community college. This was a huge milestone for her. Eva really exemplifies our mission at Dragonfly. We believe that every victim survivor of human trafficking deserves freedom and the opportunity to pursue a new life. And our role is to walk alongside them and provide them with whatever they need to move forward. When people support Dragonfly, they're supporting people like Eva and so many other victim survivors of human trafficking as they walk toward their own future of freedom.